Thousands of Bangladeshi protesters, angered by the killing of one of their leaders, have poured onto the streets of the capital to demand the death penalty for those found guilty of war crimes in the country's 1971 independence conflict. The protests were triggered by the life sentence imposed on Abdul Qadar Malah, a leading figure of Jamaat, Bangladesh's largest Islamist party. Most Bangladeshis had expected a death sentence on charges of murder, rape and torture. An even larger crowd flooded the square to attend funeral prayers for Thaba Haider, a blogger and key figure in organizing demonstrations who was killed outside his home after returning from a 100,000 strong rally. One protester said he believed Hadir was stabbed to death for standing up to the Islamist jamaat e Islami party and drawing people to the protests. Our movement is going on and it will be keep on going until our demand is fulfilled of the descendants of all criminals. One of our active partners, Rajiv Haidar, has been killed yesterday. We suspect that he, is, he has been brutally killed by the Jamaat Shibir party. We also seek demand for the justice of this brutal murder. Bangladesh became part of Pakistan at the end of British rule in 1947, but broke away in 1971 after a war between Bangladeshi nationalists backed by India and Pakistani forces. Three million people died and thousands of women were raped.